hi welcome to my youtube channel uh, today we are going to learn on how to type a letter uh, uh, and we are going to use an example as you can look at an example here normally you are given the instructions and the first instruction there is one prepare a letter head and key in the following letter as for this part today two using the addresses given below create a data source and save it as that in your folder to be printed out insert reference number that then using mail match send original letter to this that is to these addresses here and what i want to to teach you today is some few instructions on how to type this letter uh, we are not going to do the data source we are not going to mail match our letter but i will show you the layout of on how to type this letter so one before you start typing the letter you should uh, check the instructions uh, and the instruction number one we look at there the address given here that is on the letterhead so if you look at the right hand side of this it has letterhead use font style aerial aerial black size 16 caps bold and center so what you are required to do is that you are required to type this in capital letters you bolden it and you center so when you type in capital letters make sure that here between we have p and then we have space or space and then a box this symbol here it is an hyphen so we leave space before it and after so you make sure you do that and then next thing is that we we type dear sir we have the the subject the subject is tour packages bold and center so when you are told bold and center it means that we have to type this heading in capital letters and in capital letters because it is underlined twice so you make sure that you type in capital letters normally when the title or a sentence is underlined twice it means that we type in capital letters and then this letter means that because it is centered here it means that we are going to type in indent style so we are going to use indent style in typing this letter so we have some few instructions on the left hand side like this run on it means that from here to here it is a continuous sentence there is no breaking to a new paragraph so you continue typing in continuous and then you come to this here we have state state there is a sentence that has been crossed here but it has dotted lines under it so it means that we type it means we type this sentence as we move on we move to page we move to page two page two of of our letter is is just a continuation of page one and we have some also instructions on the left hand side we have this word here in and there is a carrot there is a carrot in between the paragraph here so it means that we insert the word in here then we have also run on it means it is a continuation of a paragraph then we have display items so we we are supposed to display items a to c in indent style so we are going to look at how it is going to be displayed and then here we have the complementary clause the complementary clause here is yours faithfully we have the name of the company the name of the company has been underlined twice meaning that 
it has to be typed in capital letters and also bolded. So sometimes you find that you've not been told bold or type in capital letters. So normally when you are not told, you are supposed to know it by your own that it must be typed in capital letters and bolded. Then we have the name of the person, that is the name of the person writing the letter. Uh, it has to be typed in initial caps and also the occupation of this person. And then here we have the addresses that we are going to send our letter. And then lastly, we have use shoulder headings. So I want us to look at how this letter is typed in Indian style and using shoulder headings and also display items. So we look at the letter itself. So there is this letter. This is the letter that we are supposed to type. And this is how it will appear. So if you look at the letter, this is the letterhead that we were told. Type in caps, bold, and center. So you can look at the way it is. So make sure that you type the way it is here. P.O. box, there is, you create space here. And also, hyphen here, you create space before and after. And then the next part is reference number. So when typing the reference number here, there is two spaces. You leave two spaces here where the, the cursor is blinking. And also the date is typed on the same line, but on the right hand side. And then you leave space here. How many spaces are we going to leave here? There are three. So where the cursor is blinking, it means that we are going to mail match our letter there. That is where we are going to put the match fields. Then we have dear sir, you type dear sir, the, the subject of the letter typed in capital letters and bolded. So the letter to type in indent, you use the tap key, you tap once, you tap once and then you begin the sentence. And then the next paragraph continues like that. And then when you type the main heading here in caps and bolded, the shoulder headings here will be initial caps and bolded. Initial caps and bolded. And normally the shoulder headings are typed from the left hand margin and above the paragraph like this. So you can see this is the shoulder heading and then the paragraph is here. So you indent here. Continue like that with the shoulder heading, the next shoulder heading. And then we, we are moving now to page two. Page two, in page two here, we have the page number, we have the date, and also here, where are highlighted here, you're supposed to put title and last name. Title and last name. So I've not placed it because I've not made much the letter. So you normally put in page two here title and last name. We have the number and also the, the date. Then you double space. And then that we come to items. We were told display items. So displaying items, we type the items from the margin here, aligning with the first sentence. No, aligning with the first sentence in the paragraph here. So we are supposed to display this way. Sorry, it has to begin from here. This is where it's supposed to begin from. You make sure it is beginning from the indent there. So that is display. It has to align with the with the indent 
And then we come to complementary clause. Complementary clause, we said it is yours faithfully. And then we have Tyro, Tours, and Safaris, typed in capital letters and bolden. Typed in capital letters and bolden. And then there is this space here we have selected. It has to be five clear spaces. So normally we leave these spaces so that we, the person who is writing, who is going to sign the letter can sign there. Then the name of the person and the occupation is typed in initial caps. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel.